everyone, it's Samantha and welcome to my Vanilla Mom channel. So last year I did this video called Pen Favorites of 2014 and so I decided I'm going to do another Pen Favorites video. It's one of my most viewed videos. So this is going to be Pen Favorites of 2015. There is going to be some overlap and I'll tell you guys the pens I'm using currently and then walk you through my old favorites as well. Somebody had suggested that I go ahead and write in this video, so I thought I would just, you know, write my name or something in each of my favorite pens and let you guys see them side by side. So one of my latest and greatest, newest favorite pens is the Sharpie pen, and I heard rave reviews about these for a while. Well, I love them. I think they write really smoothly. They are a, um, like a felt tip. I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit. They are like a felt tip type of pen and they do come in fine and medium that I've been able to find. So these ones are all fine and I do like the width of these. I usually do like a thicker um, point but these ones are plenty thick for me. And what I like about them is they write really saturated colors. They come in quite a few colors, but they don't really bleed through the paper. There is some shadowing sometimes if you press a while, um, but overall I haven't had a lot of shadowing problems or a lot of bleed through problems at all. So I've been using these exclusively now for the last couple of weeks and I just love them. I think they write so greatly. I also like that they clip and I've been using some stickers that I've made with my printer. And they have kind of a sheen to them after I print with the toner. And these actually write on them really, really nicely. And people have been asking me, what do you write on when you print off stickers? So these are just like print and cut stickers that I made with my printer. And I can just write on these easily with these Sharpie pens. They don't run, they don't bleed, they don't smear. It just dries as soon as I write. So they really work really nicely with my planner. I can design my own stickers, have my own little things that I need to write on, and I really like that. I've been just absolutely loving these pens the last few weeks. So these aren't Sharpies, like permanent markers. These are Sharpie pens. They say pen right on them. So you definitely wanna look for the ones that are called pens, um, but I definitely like them. So the colors I've been using lately are just the black, blue, and purple. So I'm gonna go ahead and write with these. If I am not careful, I'm a lefty and I will smudge things with my knuckle. So I just try to hold my pen so that I don't smudge it right as I'm writing. Anyway, I might end up doing that. I've done that before recently. So I'm just gonna write my name. So there's the blue and here's the purple. And then the black. I have to warn you, my handwriting's not the greatest. And I'm gonna try to be kind of fast in this video too. I don't wanna spend forever. I don't wanna spend forever, so I'll just write next to this Sharpie pen. Okay, so there is my absolute number one favorite right now. I just love them. One that's been one of my favorites for a long time now is the Zebra Sarasa. These are clip pens, so they're really cute. I got this set, I'm pretty sure, off of Amazon, and they just clip really nicely. See the clip on that? And these are 0.7, so I really like the 0.7 thickness, and I've used a bunch of these up. They do end up being used up pretty quickly when you're using them all the time. So I've used up a bunch of them, so this is what I've got left in my pack. I've used a lot of the brighter colors. So I'll just write with these, and I don't know, they don't say the name on the pen, but they're just nice, pretty colors. So I gotta get this one started, it's been a while. These just write really nicely and smoothly on my paper. Um, I've noticed sometimes with the slick paper and the plum paper planner, some of the curvy parts do tend to skip over, so I had to go back and do one of the tops of one of those M's. Zoom it in a little bit more. And then here's the blue one. And see, to get it started, these haven't been used in a while. Gotta get it going. Those are zebra. 
Awesome. So I really like those. I definitely prefer the 0.7 point on a lot of pens, but if you look at the Sharpie pen, it's not that much thinner than the 0.7 Zebras, so I don't have a problem with these being too thin. I still really like those Sharpie pens. So moving forward, I'll probably end up getting some of my favorite colors again, like the teal one. I think I've gone through two of these teal ones, and the pinks. I really like the light blue. Um, so I'll probably just order individually from like jetpens.com or places like that where I can order them individually. I don't tend to like the sets because they do include, you know, the standard red, blues, and blacks. And I don't usually use a lot of red or blue. And then another one of my favorites, again, was from last year also, is the Juice Pen. And I did end up getting a pack of these. These are the .5s. And they're just too thin for me. I really prefer the .7 over the 0.5, so I haven't really been using the 0.5s all that much, but I do have some individuals in the 0.7 that I've really liked. I've got a brown, a couple of purples, I've gone through a couple of these, and again, since this is a gel-based ink, they do tend to um, run out pretty quickly. So here's a 0.5, and I feel like these ones are pretty thin. I don't think that one's too bad. Sometimes I feel like these ones get really thin. So here's a 0.7. I love the way these ones dry. They just, I don't know, they kind of have a, like a matte finish on this um, silky kind of paper. I really just love them. They're bright and saturated. For my stickers that I make, I use the Sharpie pens. And I tried to use the Sharpie pens on washi tape, but it did end up smearing for me the time I tried it. So for washi tape, I've been really sticking with using the American Crafts Slick Writer, and this is a medium point. I got a pack of three that was fine, medium, and bold. So this is the medium, and it just writes really nicely. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip that off. You can see that, and I try to give it a second to dry and then it's just smear proof. I love it. So if you're interested in, you know, writing on washi or writing on those glossy stickers, let's see, I've got some in here, I'm sure. Okay, so here's like a set. So these stickers are scrapbook stickers and they are, you know, that glossy finish. This slick writer will write perfectly on these stickers and not smear or anything once it's dry, which is really nice. So if you're interested in erasable pens, my favorite for that is the Friction by Pilot, and these are the friction ball. Um, they just click down and up. So they're friction-based erasing, so you write what you want to write. I think they write pretty decently, but I've always noticed, it's as far as I can zoom in, hopefully you can see that, but as these pins, I've definitely noticed that where the ball touches down in the middle of the letters, you're left with a lighter part. And the juice pins tend to do this a lot too. You can see like a lighter area in the middle there. So it just doesn't look smooth and even like it does with those Sharpie pens. I do notice that more with the gel pens and these friction pens. So it's erasable. This piece is just a little piece. It does not flake off like a regular eraser. And you just have to get your arm into it and use some friction to erase. So with these, I can still feel the bumpiness on the paper where it was writing, but it looks really nice. You can see it's gone. If I try to write over the same place multiple times, it will end up getting really bumpy. But with, you know, one or two erases, it's no big deal. Now the thing with these is they do erase by friction or by heat, you know, just a tiny bit of heat from the friction. If you write a bunch of stuff and leave your paper in a hot car, it will erase, it will disappear. I've heard that you can stick your paper in the fridge or the freezer to get it to show up again, but then it, everything that you've written um, actually um, comes back. So what I just erased, if I were to stick this in the freezer, it would show up again, supposedly. So keep that in mind if you're trying to use these erasable erasable pens. But what's cool about these is the ink doesn't like rub off with your finger like the old school um, erasable pens. It was just, you know, barely stuck to the paper and you could just roll the um, ink off of your paper. These aren't like that at all. The ink is still there. It just erases and becomes invisible. Now one of my favorites that I have not been using in quite a while because they do have a tendency to bleed is the Stadler Tri Plus pens. I just love the saturated colors. These are felt tip pens, but I do have a tendency to shadow through the paper. 
I just love this, the vibrant colors that these come in. And they come in with a ton of colors and they write really smoothly. They are one of my favorites. They have a nice point to them. I'm pretty sure these are fine tip, but they still, you know, they're pretty thick. Especially with the darker colors, they do have a tendency to bleed through. With the lighter colors, I definitely can get away with using them. But I find that their clip is really, really small. So if I'm trying to stick this onto my page, it really like buckles out really weirdly. And I don't know, I just don't like them stuck to my book as much. They just don't look as nice. So I do have to say, aside from these Sharpie pens, I do prefer a pen that has a click and just is retractable like that. So the juice pens, the Sarasa clip pens are definitely still some of my top favorites. I've just been really loving these Sharpie, pen, these Sharpie pens lately. I do prefer the uh, retractable pen, but that's just a personal preference. Some people really like the pen caps, but anyway, that is my favorites video. A lot of them are overlaps from last year, I will admit, but I definitely am loving my newest pen. Hopefully this year I will explore into some new pens and have a favorites video for you guys next year. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like pens and planning and be sure to subscribe. Have a great day and I'll catch you guys next time.